Aloha everyone, I'm your Minna Van Dyken MD. I'm a surgeon by trade, but my true passion is helping people just like you obtain and maintain optimum health, especially in these strange times of COVID. If you've been following us for a little while, you've known that I've posted a few videos discussing nitric oxide, endogenous production of nasal nitric oxide, and prevention, possibly even treatment of COVID-19 from endogenous nasal nitric oxide. I'll link those videos in the description below. But now, I've been so lucky to team up with a few really, really bright minds. Minds like the one possessed by my friend Pratesh. Pratesh is an engineer, and he obtained a thesis in the domain of vibration analysis, which is super useful when we're talking about nitric oxide, sinuses, and vibration of those tiny nitric oxide molecules, which helps them get out of the sinuses into the nasopharynx. Pratesh was crucial in the creation of our nasal breathing protocol, which causes release of nitric oxide from the sinuses into the nasopharynx, thereby resulting in many health benefits. He's been gracious enough today to discuss the scientific rationale behind the creation of the protocol we came up with, and he explains exactly why our protocol works. Before we get started though, I have to stress the following disclaimer. When it comes to COVID, this protocol is not something that should replace vaccines, social distancing, and mask wearing. They all should be done, especially vaccination. Anyhow, without further ado, here's Pratesh. Take it away, my friend. Thank you, Dr. Van Dyken. My name is Pratesh, and I have an engineering degree with a thesis written in the domain of vibration analysis. I am also a regular uh, yoga practitioner, and given my engineering background, the concept of uh, paranasal vibration intrigued me, so I contacted Dr. Van Dyken and Dr. Ganguly. If the purpose is to generate maximum nitric oxide in your nose at high concentrations during humming, the obvious question is how much humming to do and for how long? Well, thankfully, these questions are already answered through strong scientific literature and publications. The most uh, notable scientific literature is a thesis publication at Karolinska Institute in Sweden, which is one of the world's most respected medical research institute. In this thesis titled Humming Nitric Oxide and Paranasal Sinus Ventilation, there's actually a discussion about an experiment where the nasal sinuses of, the, of a healthy person were actually punctured. The scientists were astonished to find really high concentration of uh, nitric oxide in uh, paranasal sinuses here. So when you hum, some of the highly concentrated nitric oxide from your sinuses is channeled to your nose through this amazing mechanism called Helmholtz resonation. Similar to a spring hum mass system, this humming mechanism induces oscillation uh, that increases uh, nitric oxide exchange from your sinuses to uh, your nasal cavity. And that's where the concept of vibration uh, engineering comes into picture. Now, remember, uh, several researchers have proved that nasal cavity is exactly where COVID-19 virus first sits before uh, moving to lungs and other parts of the body. See, for example, this uh, University of North Carolina uh, research, this increased nitric oxide, um, in your nasal cavity can reduce at least some of the viruses that are sitting in your nose. So when you hum, nitric oxide reservoirs in your sinuses pass some of the nitric oxide to the nasal cavity. Now, interestingly, in the traditional bee humming uh, Brahmari Pranayam yogic exercise, one gently pushes their sinuses and performs humming to release more uh, nitric oxide in the nasal cavity. It's a very interesting perspective over there. Uh, but here's the more interesting part. This uh, Carolist Constitute thesis also mentioned that after four rounds of humming, you need to take a break uh, of at least three minutes. Now this break helps your sinuses to refill nitric oxide. Uh, the Carolinsk Institute thesis clearly discusses this needed break, a uh, three minutes break on page 23. Additionally, uh, a research uh, paper published at European Respiratory Journal actually shows 
how nitric oxide production in your nose is almost flattened after four rounds of humming. So uh, first round of humming, really high concentration of nitric oxide produced in your road, nose. Uh, second round, third round, fourth round. And after fourth round, it's almost flattened. And you need a break of three minutes uh, to uh, for your sinuses to refill the nitric oxide. And that's how the protocol of four rounds of humming, then take a break of at least three minutes before you begin the next round. That's the way to do it. Thank you, Dr. Van Dyken.